What is up YouTube? What's up to all my gamers? This, as you can see, is a PSP Go. PSP, PSP Go. And in today's video, we're gonna be upgrading the storage on this. Um, right now, um, it only has 12 gigabytes of internal storage and we wanna upgrade that to add some games to it because um, this uh, system, just like the other, you. Uh, PSP doesn't have a disc reader in the back, so this only plays digital games. And for some reason, Sony decided to make this uh, an M2 uh, M2 um, type of storage, and it kind of it's kind of hard to come come by. And the ones that they they are they're expensive, and as you can see right now, it has nothing. But we're gonna be taking care of that as we speak um, and we're gonna be uh, upgrading the storage on this thing so again this is a, a PSP go PSP 1000 PSP go go so without further ado we're gonna start by removing uh, these four screws that are in the back using a screwdriver if you have one that's like meant for uh, devices like this so we're going to be unscrewing this and uh, this is the, the adapter that we're going to be using um, pretty much this this is going to go in that one slot that I just showed you and this is a, a, a SD card reader and then we're going to be using that to, to expand the storage but I'll get to that in a minute so yeah let's just start by unscrewing these first Okay, I forgot. There's actually um, some screws up here. I managed to take them out and you just remove that piece. Slides out. The top one. And then after that, it should come right out. As you can see, it just popped up. So, that's the inside of a PSP. As you can see, PSP Go. So, we're going to be inserting this. Um this and it's actually going to be uh, something like this i'll show you guys once we get it uh, already and going but pretty much this is going to go on uh, the slot where um, your memory card would go so it'd be this part right here so like that we'll stuff it in there it gets bent and it gets placed in so i, I just Think of uh, as this getting bent in, and this stays in like that. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys. Okay, I do want to mention that make sure that you're putting it this in just the way you see it, like that. With these uh, two uh, nicks in the bottom, one, two, going in this way. And then after that, it's just going to get folded um, in like this. Okay. Okay, so once it's in, um, pretty much what you're going to get is this. Um, you're going to want to, since we don't want this sticking out of, out of the system, we're just going to fold this in, as you see here, just like so. And it's going to stay like that. Obviously, we got to tape this down. That way it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so let me go ahead and get some tape. We're going to tape this down, and then we'll put the play back on, and then we'll show you exactly what I mean all right guys so that's how it looks I I put some some tape on there um, pretty much gets folded in like that and you put this cover like that so I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn the PSP on just to make sure that everything uh, is correctly placed before I close it up so there it is PSP and I put a 64 uh, gigabyte memory card inside, so it should read it actually. So there it is. See memory, memory stick. And I did want to mention that this PSP was modded before, so that's why it was it's able to read uh, the games from the memory card. But as you can see, now it has tons of games. yeah so i'm gonna get have fun with this <laughs> you playing this 
and it also has emulators so you can play um mm, different different um systems so that is it guys so i'm gonna go ahead and close this up put the put the panel back in there on and uh, yep that wraps it up that wraps up the the video so yeah simple install not not too no not too uh time consuming if you've never opened anything up i think this is like uh very easy honestly like if you're modding this is like easy stuff it's just four screws and then two up top and then that's pretty much it so yeah guys i'll catch you guys in the next one peace